and things you have done to help the average person in Berks County? Oh, not enough. <laughs> um, that's, I, I can tell you that. Um, but I have talked to you. Whoa, unlike someone else we know. <laughs> <laughs> I have, um, I have actually, I was on the, I was um, a, um, a senior person at FIA for a very long time, and when I was at FIA, I did a lot of work in Berks County around um, middle schools and moving students from middle school into high school and into college. We did a lot of work in Berks County, and I was very, and, and across central PA, I was very proud of that work. When I was with the United Way of the Capital Region, we actually had partnerships with the, I feel like I'm holding this too close. Is this okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, with the, um, with the United Way in this area, and we would have joint projects that we would do around fundraising initiatives to help organizations that needed resources. And uh, we would actually, and, and it was a really direct connection to the social service agencies within Berks County. That's number two. I would say that the same existed with respect to the YWCA of Greater Harrisburg. You know, one of the um, w one of the components of the work I've done on in the civic arena, of which I'm most proud, is working with civic organizations such as the YWCA of Greater Harrisburg, such as the United Way of the Capital Region, around really addressing social service needs in communities that extend beyond my neighborhood, and really creating work that will sustain actually families and communities. I'm very proud of that work and I, and I will never stop doing that kind of work and it has extended into Berks in many, many, many ways. And of course, I do talk, unlike my opponent. <laughs> I'm just joking when I say that, I really am. I'm just trying to lighten it up a bit. The next two questions are related and we've actually got a couple of variations of this. So I'm gonna try to ask one at a time, but they're, uh, they're really, what tax policies would you advance? First and foremost, I would actually repeal the, the, um, the, um, the tax breaks that are given to the wealthiest in our society. I think that is essential. And that is those who make over $200,000. And I have to tell you in all candor, I have been in that category. I'm no longer in that category, but I have been. And, um, and when I was in that category, I thought it was unfair. I didn't need those tax breaks. Um, there is a very, uh, a person, I can't think of who it was, it was one of, Warren it might have been Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, exactly. Warren Buffett who said that actually his um, secretary shouldn't pay more taxes than he does. I tend to agree with that. That was funny, folks. It really was, okay? The point is that that is the truth, that we should not have a tax policy, we should not have a, a, a set of tax policies that actually are designed to benefit the wealthiest in our societies. I think I, I like the graduated income tax. I think on a, um, on a statewide basis, I have to say that, and I do believe that federal policy impacts um, and, and intersects with state policy. I think we need to look at property tax reform. I think that we use property tax as a way of um, funding schools, and I think that it becomes, um, that it has um, unfortunate consequences for those who live in less wealthy districts and that we need to really restructure our tax code, and we haven't done so in a very long time here. And what we do is we use a Band-Aid approach, and I think it doesn't work well. And I think that, it, so it becomes a question of, of um, thank you, Karen, okay. And so, and, and what it means is that those who live in wealthier districts receive more um, benefits, <coughs> educational benefits in terms of resources than those who live in other districts. I would also do more at the federal level, but we'll talk about that later. But I wanted to talk about the first and foremost, really repealing those benefits that are given to the wealthiest in our society. They aren't necessary. I'm talking about the sh tax shelters and the havens and those loopholes. They're not necessary, and that's just, it's just, it's not necessary. 